And here we are for the final preseason Thunder testing. Then I remember tomorrow's my last day off. Then I'm funny. Gotta go back to school. So why not do it? Let's, I wanna get the uh, sign ups as fast as out there as possible. Fast. There, whatever. Fuck it. So Dave Blaney, I believe that was him, is the first driver out. This is. We're actually racing, uh, testing at the night. And why not? Just, just pretend this is midnight. Right, but right now it's like it's actually 4:45 Eastern PM. So just take a look here through the schemes. Oh man, these new paint schemes, are so awesome. I like curb bushes. So practice is just the same as day two. So I still can't find the paint schemes for the 32 and the 52 as well. And the 40, like the 2014 paint schemes. So I'm gonna have to... Maybe later on the season someone's gonna paint it then I can just swap out the paint schemes. So of course the 77 will be top of the list because he's the first driver out there to make cool lap around. That's Dave Blaney 138. Oh now Castle once again back in that lead but I don't think he's gonna be there for long. Now Trevor Baines is now making it onto the board. Got some drivers bump drafting. Got a few more drivers coming now coming off pit road. Kislowski gone, there's Austin Newland, Casey Mears, Michael Annette coming off, there's Biffle, here's the 200 drivers, now we're trying to work together with Casey Kane, ow, random flash, do I need back in first, just wait, so how are these drivers going to perform in the night, just in case if the race gets delayed, and Castle once again back up front. And now it's Martin Truex Jr. So let's see if we get me some drivers doing some pack racing. We got four pack four driver pack. Let's ride on board with that 77. Real close to that wall. Oh We're too close. Now that one is the leader in the middle. We only had twenty. We only have twenty-five drivers who have made a lap now. Now here comes the thirty-two coming off of the track. Oh, Johnson now in that wall. Bush and 41 has no help. Runs to the bottom. Looking to pass Castle. Got past K. Alright, now we have a bigger pack. Got a five driver pack. Harvick, Patrick, Annette, Mears, and Bush. Let's take a look at the rear cam of Carl Edwards. Looks like it's gonna. Involve this one soon. Look at that. Beautiful to Daytona. Look at all them lights. And we have a bigger one actually. It's Tony Stewart is this the leader. Keselowski trying to get it. Blaney, the first driver to hit 200 in today's in day three testing. Looking for more. Okay, it's getting a little bit crazy out here. We'll watch it. Don't wreck Stewart. Look at all these drivers. Let's good thing. Okay. A little bit too close for Blaney and Keslowski. Be careful. 
Making some little bit of contact. Almost four wide. Haven't seen four wide race uh, racing, I guess. Practice racing, testing. Gotta do something about that wall hitting. It just shortens the pack and continues. Another one, five of them. Number five, crack pack up in front. We got two over here. Got another two there. Got another one right here, but with more. Six. Can't wait for that 500. But of course, it's the unlimited and the double duels. And no. Sprint Unlimited awards one point by winning the race. And uh, so does the duels. One point if you win the race. Features half the. Almost. Sort of half the. No, yeah, half the field. In duel 1, the first few numbers and another duel. Yeah, whatever. Forget about it. We'll see. Vicker is running all alone. They're gonna catch the 81 and Cole Witt working together. Jimmy Johnson coming back on track. So no one has wrecked yet, which is good, because you know you never want to wreck in testing. It's just gonna create a big hassle. Three wide. Let's search for the biggest pack we can find. Could be that one. So colorful with new paint schemes and numbers. Hopefully we get a few more rookies, but I don't think we will. Let's uh, right on board with one of these drivers. Got one pair of Tony Stewart's cars. Stuart Haas. And here comes Harrod down pit road now. Gonna leave this pack. Head down pit road. Here we go. Got a few drivers staying on pit road. They have gone out. So all 42 drivers have went around the track. The slowest is Johnson, 190. Slower than Gordon's and here comes Harvick. Some tires, there's Ryan Newman coming going out. Here's the spectator cam. I think TV uh, pit lane too got a really cool cam. Look at that. This is the night one. Oh wait no. This is the night version where it's all the way at the back. Look at that. Cars rolling by. But uh, Daytona Day, when it's daytime, the camera switches to the angle, like somewhere in that Budweiser area. But this one, I think this one's a bit better. Sort of. No, I don't know. It's too hard to choose which one is good. There's pit lane one. Very much you can see from this part turns three and four in the trial, and then that's it. Well, I got some dust over there, but it looks like no one has wrecked. So only drivers have hit in the wall, that's the only damage they sustained or bumping each other. That three is coming to the Cup Series for the first time. Of course in real life, this is, well actually both in the league. Pretty much a really, really big deal. Cause, wonder who's gonna drive the three in this in the m &M's Cup Series. Well, first come first serve. You guys know it. Harvick's coming off pit road. Just missed that pack. Austin Dillon currently in the three. So no wrecks just as yet. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. If you hear any barking, it's just my dog.
Me. I still didn't get a wreck, but good. But I might have just jinxed it. We're getting really close right now. They're battling really hard for nothing. I think they're just practicing. Um, because testing section is a good way to practice as well. It does say practice, but as I mentioned a million times, there's no way to get AIs in testing session, so no point. So they're testing their cars around Daytona. Everything is almost every no, things have been changed from last season to this season so we might see better or worse racing we'll just have to see and currently they're doing pretty good the changes might must have uh, may have I don't know just hope no race and under caution and all races end with a good finish instead of a single car thing Thirty seconds remaining. Okay, now less than thirty seconds. I have to. Thing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! And there is the first wreck. Late, real late. Get it back rolling. I don't even know what happened. They just wrecked. So in five seconds, this thing is over, sort of. And yeah, add an extra 29 seconds here. Whoa. Well, testing session is over. Let's take a look at our wreck again. Take a look here. Let's see. Castle in the 81. Yeah, got into the wall. Comes right back in front. And Whoa. Hold on a minute. Alright. Okay, fast forward this a bit. So take a look here, bounces off. Then whoa, that thing nearly flips over. Man, that was a scary ride right there. Almost got LeBlanc into <laughs> Labonte. Did not sideways spin. Well you still with still able to roll it. And that is it for testing. After this, we're back to racing. For reals. I know that's not right, but well, yeah, yeah. So, the fastest of them all. Once again, only one driver has achieved past 200 miles an hour. So that's two days of that, and then six of them in the second day. Uh, slowest was Vickers at 193.974, and that is it. We'll now see you for the Sprint Unlimited.